hi there uh, so from the last clip what we have learned that correlation can be done between two or more continuous variable if your data is normally distributed you are using the person correlation similar to this example if they are not normally distributed you can use the Spearman one you have either positive or negative uh, relation it doesn't mean anything with the significant or the magnitude only the direction of the relationship so the minus one that mean one variable is increased the other variable decrease if they are positive that mean when one variable increase the other variable increase also also we have learned to know whether this correlation is significant or not uh, you will use one tail test if you know the direction whether that one variable if it is increased the other one will increase or decrease that is directional relation and you know it so we're going to use the one tail one if you don't know then you may use the two tail one the other thing that we have learned that the magnitude of the correlation f up to 0.3 that is mild up to 0.5 that is moderate anything more than 0.5 that is huge SPSS can give you two uh, asterisks here for those that they are significant and for the non-parametric -par one we have almost similar results now we are going to I, I'm going to show you a small trick that if you have two group actually or more even uh, actually just stick with two group uh, male or female uh, uh, ethnic group black or white whatever uh, uh, distinguish that you have what you can do you can split this file and we have discussed before how to split it, it you can go from data split file and you want to split it with gender so uh, initially it will be there you will drag it here and you organize your group by this one now when you hit ok and you go to your data first of all you see it's split by gender and if you are going to run the same test that you did it you can do it from anal analyze again or you can go to the most recent test that you did which is the, the bivariate correlation so again you are uh, asking for the person one if they are non uh, distributed uh, normally you can ask for the experiment one again one tailed you will hit ok now so I did it already and uh, here's the result so you have the correlation first for male and you have almost similar correlation between the exercise and the diet however the weight is uh, increased from mild to moderate relation uh, for male and all of them they are still significant for female you have the correlation again uh, the weight change actually again is still mild for them with the diet change and the exercise any direction is the same so it seems to be that the male subjects they are uh, subjected to more weight change with the diet change and the exercise you have again the non-parametric now with the male almost the same result and for female again the same result now uh, there is another uh, subject that I would like to discuss with you now so you are looking for the effect of the weight and you you ask for a relationship between exercise and diet regarding the, the changes of weight now we are not sure whether the effect or the relationship is purely because of the exercise effect of the weight or there is some relation between the diet and the exercise so you want to control one of them to see the relationship between the weight and 
in the exercise for example so to do that or to control for one variable you have to go for partial now here I'm interested to know whether decreasing the diet will decrease the weight if I'm going to control for the exercise or not I know that there is some directional relationship between them so I'll check the one tail I'll hit OK but uh, after checking that I'm, I'm looking for the pairwise one and the mean and the standard deviation so after hitting OK you'll have the partial here now it, it will give you the relationship between the weight and the exercise here after you control for the diet okay what you have found that there is okay uh, negative relation as the inc uh, exercise increase the weight change however it is not significant so it seems to be the diet has a very strong confined relationship with exercise to have a negative outcome to the weight itself uh, we are going to discuss in the next clip actually how to do uh, regression we have simple and uh, complex regression and the change between uh, correlation and regression that correlation will get not give you any uh, uh, causality or prediction between the variable however the regression it mean whether the the variable can predict the outcome of the other variable or not. I hope that you learned something in this clip and looking forward to talk to you in the next clip.